You gotta love those nostalgic recipes like broccoli and cheese sauce. Well, I've got a great recipe for this, but it has one little sneaky advantage to it. There's no cheese in it. It's actually a lot healthier. It's got tons of calcium in it, lots of vitamins and minerals, and it's dirt simple to make. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some nutritional yeast, and this is actually what's giving the sauce its cheesy flavor. It's very high in B vitamins and other minerals as well, and um, you only need a little bit of it. So I'm going to put this into a bowl, and then I'm going to add some uh, spices to it, a little bit of paprika and a little bit of garlic powder. Then we'll add in some tahini, some ground sesame seed paste. Sesame seeds are a great source of calcium. Set that aside and stir this up. And already it's starting to look a little bit like cheese sauce, but we're not done yet. And then I'm gonna put in some Bragg's liquid aminos. This is a great ingredient. It has a really great savory flavor add a touch of fresh lemon juice. Squeeze that right in there. And then to really give the cheese sauce a nice buttery flavor, I'm going to add in just a little bit of coconut oil. This is just a tablespoon. So next we're going to add in about three cups of finely chopped broccoli florets. And I like to eat these just as is, without cooking them. Um, they have a lot more vitamins, a lot more minerals, and they taste really, really delicious. But by all means, if you'd like this as a warm dish, just give these a light steam for about two to three minutes and it will serve beautifully. So we put these florets into the bowl. And then I'm gonna stir this around so that the broccoli is well tossed with the cheese sauce. And you want to make sure that, of course, the broccoli is evenly coated. This is a great recipe that actually keeps for a few days, so you can make this ahead of time and have it all week. And that's it. And it is completely finished and ready to be served. Makes a fantastic side dish. You can also put this on top of potatoes. And then what I like to do is sprinkle this with a little bit of hemp seeds. And that's it, a great healthy dish with that classic broccoli and cheese flavor without any of the guilt. For more food, health, life, and fabulousness, visit juliemorris.net.